Welcome back. Heading for the president's desk, a bill naming the bison as America's national mammal. That move gives buffalo the same prestige as the bald eagle. Brought back from the brink of extinction, you'll find a new herd just thriving right here in green country. And it's a story you'll see only on two. Oh, I see a future. I see a herd that's growing. Deep in the hills of Delaware County, history comes to life. And you can also look into it and see the past as well. The Cherokee Nation's new buffalo herd is thriving, watched over by tribal members like Chris Barnhart. He's thrilled to see another calf, the eighth so far this spring. She's just had this baby over the weekend. The baby's probably, you know, at the most three days old. Since starting this operation, their herd's grown to 116 cows, calves, and bulls, thriving in a place they haven't been seen in decades. Across the pasture, welding crews tackle a massive project, a $350,000 highly reinforced holding facility. Yeah, this will last, uh, last us all. It'll keep the powerful, unpredictable buffalo and those who care for them safe during health checks. Here they plan for the future and measure out ideas such as tourism and school visits. And what do the kids think when, they, when your daughter? My daughter was very excited. Uh, she said we got to see the buffalo. Secretary of State Chuck Hoskins told me that Chief Bill John Baker envisions production and prosperity. There's just so many parts of this operation that can help our people. Uh, jobs, bringing in revenue, uh, a, a chance to connect with nature. I mean, it's just a win all around. With 22,000 acres of land available here, the herd has plenty of room to grow naturally and with additions from national parks in North and South Dakota. I like to think they enjoy it better here. Today, the Intertribal Buffalo Council manages more bison than all of the national parks combined, 20,000 head. As a board member watching over the Green Country herd, Chris may be the luckiest man in the Cherokee Nation. I've heard that a time or two. I think I might be as well. Lucky to care for these massive, majestic beasts that provided food, clothing, tools, and shelter for his ancestors. This animal gave them life um, to be able to help bring their numbers back and, and be able to see it grow and flourish here. It, it's an honor. And you can see the buffalo as well. Just contact the Cherokee Nation. I found out, by the way, that cattle genes were used to bring America's bison population back from the brink. Now, this herd is 99% pure, and they test newcomers' DNA, working for the best herd possible for the Cherokee Nation.